Lizzie with Long Distance Gamers and today I'm going to play Caesar Seize Rome in 20 minutes. I'm going to be playing the solo version so let's go ahead and get started. So I am playing Pompeii, they are playing Caesar, we have grabbed the three starting for each. The solo is put in a line, our solo opponent is put in a line. I am playing with the Centurion variant so these are out, theirs are upside down. Okay, I do have their placement choice so let's go ahead and play they will go ahead and play first so we'll draw one of these so they will draw two tokens from the bag resolving one and then discarding one okay so they have no control so their first choice is going to be trying to take this italia so they'll put their highest one possible in their which is this six uh, and then we'll put it in the middle of a central one because they can care about the central ones the most okay so we've resolved now we discard so that is discarded and then it's my turn so I will draw one and then I will decide well you know what I can even this up or I could not even it up, but get a little bit of control in this area. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so they're going to draw one and resolve one. Okay, so they are winning here. So the lowest value to control. Uh, they can't close if they're not losing. If they are present, uh, where they are closest to controlling, but they already control. So they'll place their lowest one in there, which is this zero four wild. I never know where to put their wilds. Uh, maybe we'll just put it right there. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Okay, then I can draw. Okay, <laughs> matter that I got my zero four wild. Um, no, I'm gonna try to. They'll put their five in, because I would be controlling it then. Then they would have eleven out of nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'd be able to beat them with this. So you know what? I'm gonna do that. So we will roll this. So. They will actually be taking one of their Saturians. No! Oh wait, I didn't actually place mine, did I? No, I did not. I'm placing mine right there. But they're going to take one of their Centurions randomly. And it's a 3-3. Okay. Uh, so they will go ahead and place this one there. So... I need to place my 3-3 there so that way I can get control of this. So yay! I'm going to go ahead and place control of that. So I get to place two of mine out. And then I only have one of these so I'll place one of these underneath here. Okay. Yeah. Back to you. So they're going to draw two. Okay, and then they're gonna play one so they have these areas so they're furthest be oh wait they can control or they're close they are losing in both of these so they'd probably put something in one of these maybe if they have this they could put it in both yeah and this is actually this is the lowest they can go okay that way they'll try that so that way no matter what they can close these except take a new turn after this one well hopefully I can get some control things okay so I have two ships and I have this um you know what I'm losing by two on this one I'm losing by one on this one. So I will go ahead and put the uh, 
one five over here because I really don't want to lose a token. I'd rather them lose a token, which gives me this, which allows me to take another turn immediately. Oh, and I have control. Okay, and because I have control of this adjacent region, I also get to put one right there. Oh wait, except that, that would make it so that I would lose, con I have to put it like this. <laughs> That's right. Now that goes there and I'm still winning. Okay, now I got to do another turn. Um, well, if I place this one here, that will get me a win. And I have control there, so I'll place my guy right there. I'll get another turn. Okay. So, wait, I need to separate these out. It was these. Okay. So if I place a tile upside down here, I'd be able to take one of these tiles and then use its benefits, which might be helpful, but I don't know. Okay. But she's going to try to close this one and I don't want to lose that. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I control an adjacent region. So I get to place one of my guys. Eh, might as well. And then there's the hat. Okay. I'll have you this gets actually completely discarded from the game. Oh, and you were supposed to have discarded one anyways. Okay. There we go. Actually, it would be smarter to make... Oh, wait, no. It would be their choice one in it, so they would have just done the one furthest to the left. Okay. Now it's your turn. I feel like I got massively lucky there. Okay. Troop, troop. They're going to play one. Okay, so they're winning here. They're winning here. They're not exactly losing there. Um, they could put this 6-0, get control of that area. Although I feel like they would have to put something somewhere else because, you know, then I would get to close that and then get to use that. Um, maybe this 2-2, two, two, the lowest one. Yeah, okay. So we are pulling this out. Okay, so if I put this here, they would be able to close that, but not... Yeah, I'm going to place that there. That way it'll force their hand to close this one, although it makes it so that they can close this one too, and they would have majority there. So, although that means that I would be able to close there. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll put that there, except, no, I wanna have control there for sure. Okay, so we'll draw two from these. Okay, so they will get control with the lowest possible, which is a zero if they have it, but no. Okay, so this one, three, can go right there. Okay, which means they'll get this. So they will flip an opponent's influence, token, or control marker. Um, well, their closest, well... Would they come here because they know that I could get that one? Or would they turn that one because they're hoping if I don't get it, they could swoop in? Eh, I'll just do that. Okay, and then they will discard one. Okay, but they do get to place their token, finally. Okay. My turn. Okay, so the question is, 
do I want to come in here and try to get this Centurion token knowing that they will close it and then get the Centurion token themselves? Or do I spend one of my wilds to get control of this, which will get me and immediately draw a new token? Um, or do I come down here? Well, I'm gonna come down here. Try start working on this one. That will help me get control of that. Because if I could win that, that will get me the one token in there and two underneath it, and then I would win the game. Okay, so now we shuffle these cards back up. And where will you be going? Well, let's see what they do. I get drawing two. Okay, four. So that would cause us to tie here. And then she would get that benefit. And no one gets that. Except because she's playing it and she has a control marker right there, she can place one of hers right there. Which makes it so that they control that area. Okay. And then the wealth, they immediately get to draw an additional token. Okay. So they'll have more to choose from and they'll be discarding that one. Okay, my turn. Okay. Um, well, I really, except then they will be able to come in here. So, well, I'm gonna just come over here, swoop in for that one get control of this because I have three and that makes it so that I get to immediately draw another token okay they're gonna draw two and I am playing on easy oh so we need to put all these back in the bag I am playing on easy so uh That is a thing, yeah. Um, okay, so they could get control with a two. So they'll place the two right there. There's that. Okay, and then they get one of these tokens. Oof, that's gonna be a hard one, okay. Okay. I need to figure out a way to get these. Oh, I need to complete that poison too. Um, sword. Four, five, six, seven. They would control it, but I would get that sword. So, or I would get that poison. Um, granted, I would rather them take control of that. So maybe I should just come down here, put this six here because they won't take control of that because it would give, they won't close that because that would give me the win versus over here, they would get that. Okay. So hopefully well, I have my wild, so that's okay. Okay. So that. I have very few tokens left. They don't lose when they can't grab another token. <gasps> Shoot. Unlike normal players. Okay, so they'll put their lowest one that they can in there, which would be a zero. And they get control of that, meaning I have to immediately discard. Oh, it's back to the bag, not completely out of the game. So we'll just put these back in the bag. Okay, um, well put this one in. I don't really need that one because I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to draw. Whoop. Ooh. 
and I will place that there. Actually, I could put it there. Not that it really matters. So I'm going to place one of my guys there. And normally I would put two control markers underneath here because I have two of them. And I controlled the area. But that's it. I'm out of tokens. So, so definitely chaining these are really awesome. Which, oh, she had, I had an adjacent one, so, but she was closing it. But I could have put a control marker there. Oh well. But controlling these adjacencies so she would be able to place one there makes it much nicer for getting rid of these tokens most definitely um well i do like the solo version it does give me some things to think about occasionally i do feel like it can be easily manipulated for your win but i am playing this easy version so i have much more of these a ones and only one of the B and the D versus some of the harder versions you'll play you know with only two of these a couple of those and you can put in one of these C so they would draw two and place two and then that one draw one plus they get a centurion token plus they place two so it could get much much harder However, playing against a real life opponent, you don't always know what they're thinking versus you easily know, okay, they're going to be focusing more on this area. So although it would be more challenging, I feel like you'll still be somewhat able to be manipulated still. But I do really enjoy this. I want to play more, maybe, maybe up the difficulty on this AI a bit, see if they're still somewhat manipulative um but yeah but until next time just remember to have fun be present and be you thank you all for watching if you have any questions or comments feel free to reach out to us we would love to hear from you also if you find value in our content please like comment or subscribe let a friend or family member know that we exist help us spread our channel and bring remote gaming to a table near you thank you very much and have a great day